Hey guys, how's it going? I'm sorry for keeping you guys waiting for so long. Uh, the last tutorial I uploaded was over two, no, no, one month ago. And that's absolutely ridiculous, so let's get started with this one. Uh, this one is about 3D terrain collisions. And by that I mean the creation of 3D terrain, the use of height maps, and uh, of course placing stuff on the 3D terrain. So let's get started then. Start up with the sprites, sprite player, sprite tree, and a sprite of a ball. And I'll show you later what these guys are. And the fourth one is Sprite Height Map, which is more interesting than the rest. As you can see, there's uh, lighter areas and there's darker areas. The dark areas resemble uh, lower parts of the terrain and the brighter parts um, resemble higher parts of the terrain, actually. So this may be a big hill, and this may actually be... Uh, how do you call that? How do you say that in English? Please let me know in the, in the comments below, because my English is poor. Alright, let's get going. The backgrounds, texture of the floor, it's a big sprite of uh, some grass, it's pretty green, as you can see. Uh, yeah, let, let's get going. Next thing I'm going to show you is uh, this transparent texture of a tree, and I'll show you later why I have this. Well, you probably already know because I'm going to add some 3D trees into this game, which is pretty obvious. And now we're going to get to the more interesting part. The terrain scripts. There are five different scripts that you will need to create 3D terrain. First one is terrain create. I have uh, commented some uh, little bits of this. This was originally in a Dutch tutorial that I followed five years ago. And I translated this for you guys into English. I hope it is actually readable, understandable. Uh, excuse the English. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the next one, Terrain Create Stretch, is basically the same script, but then with some minor uh, changes to it. You'll see when you investigate. The next one is Terrain Get Normal. There is, uh, this one is pretty different, there's uh, some variables that you may not have heard of, like these. <laughs> I really don't know how to explain these, they're actually there and they were, so why? <laughs> terrain Get C, I do know what this one does, this one actually um, calculates how high up you are so when you're up a hill it counts as if you're on a hill well that's uh, actually with one and terrain draw here in here we draw the terrain as you may have guessed and the map mapping I've shown this in earlier tutorials as well this is really nice so I really recommend you to use this as well because it, it makes your game look so much better it really does. And the last one is script controls. Well, like I'm saying right here, these are some very, very basic controls. I highly recommend you adding your own control scheme because this is just for testing. Smiley face. Well, actually, that's the main point. It's really simple. It's jumping and going forward and backward. Backwards. Or backward, I don't know. Next one, optic player. In the create event, there's a lot of stuff going on, but please don't worry, all this green stuff is just commenting, if you didn't know that yet. It's just to show you what these codes mean, if you're interested. There's a lot of stuff going on, and the most important thing is, make sure terrain create is above D3D start, because it has to be initialized in 2D, because the, the height map is in 2D. So, if you put it, uh, for example, right here, it would just, uh, it, it will not work. You will get flat terrain, and it will look like shit. Excuse the foul language. So let's go to the next thing, step event. Um, this is for jumping on the terrain and not sinking through it. And some basic uh, mouse look screw that you can also use. By the way, don't bother copying all these things. I'm going to put a link in the description. Now, I'm sorry if you already did that. Uh, I should have told you before, by the way. So, let's just go to the next thing, is the draw event. This is a 3D projection code, and as you can see, I have given you a little bit of extra info on the last four things here, to show you what these actually mean, if you were interested. And the last one, we will draw the terrain here. Excuse me for my German. I like Germany, it's a cool country. And escape will end the game. So let's go, these two are by the way the same, uh, only this one moves and is in the shape of a ball and this one is a model of a tree. 
like there. So I'm gonna show you what this one does. It's on a, a static location. So you can optimize it by setting these to default values. My model is tree and we'll get this texture. So that's what the tree was for. And in a draw event we'll just draw it. And what is really important is this. C is terrain get Z, X, Y. Minus 32, you don't have to do that, but I figured it looked a little bit better. So that's why I did that. And the last thing is object ball, but it's not really a big deal. It just goes by the speed of 6 and goes into a random direction. And once it gets out of the room, it will just go into another different direction. Another different direction, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have school in 30 minutes. Oh crap. I gotta do this quickly. And we will draw the ball right here. So, yeah. That was actually my tutorial. Um, here's the room, by the way, if you are wondering. It's pretty big, there's no objects yet. They will be procedurally generated by the player here. So that's actually it. This is how you make a 3D game with terrain in it using height maps. It's really simple. All credit goes to uh, Eric Leppen from the Game Maker community. Um, I just wanted to share this with you guys because there was high demand for it. Well, high, there were about seven comments about it. So thank you very much for those suggestions. If you have any other suggestions, please go ahead and comment right away. And I will make sure there's a video up within the next five months. Alright, so basically that was it. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like. It helps me out a great deal. And I hope this uh, tutorial will help you something. I'll see you later. And goodbye.